What's up guys, Neat Jay here. Welcome to my video. Today I want to share a quick tip on octane material baking. Let's jump right into it. The octane material of the cubes is gradient and has flakes. The gradient and noise type of textures will move through the animation. Let's take a look, go to frame 20. We can clearly see that the texture gradient part has changed. We need to bake the gradient texture and make it stay in place while it's falling. Create an octane camera. Set the camera type to baking. Add octane object tags to all objects that have materials to bake. Now the textures of all objects are stacked in the render viewer. Let's separate them by setting different baking IDs. Now, in the camera tag, change the baking group ID to 10, which is the first cube's baking ID. Now in the render view, there is only the texture of the first cube. Open the Octane settings window. Change the kernel to info channels. Let's get into the material node editor. Now we have the sine wave gradient texture in the render view. This needs to be baked. Change the render size to 2K square. Set the file saving information. Render the texture. Connect the flakes directly to the albedo to get the diffuse flake texture. Render this. Drag the rendered textures into the node editor. Replace the unbaked ones. Change the kernels back to path tracing and check the render viewer. The texture of the first cube is baked so it will stay the same throughout the animation let's check it out yeah it worked that's all for today's video if my video helps anyway feel free to subscribe comment or share i'll see you in the next one